Hey gang, this is John from Snap On John 100, and I'm out at my favorite spot again, just getting ready to um, challenge myself. <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to uh, build a fire with primitive methods, uh, boil a cup of water for some soup, and uh, build a tarp type survival shelter and see how fast I can do it. Uh, I'll just give you a little bit of shot of the scenery. What I'm doing now is I'm getting ready to collect some uh, cedar bark for my bird's nest for a coal extender. Just showing you how pretty it is out here. That's the trail I came down. And there's a you can see there's a trail there that's a, actually a deer trail. And I'm going to be moving down this trail because I know where there's some big cedars. This, this uh, tree fell over a couple of weeks ago. It's just snapped off. It's a gorgeous day out. I'm right down by the creek now. It's really low, but I can see a trout. I don't know if I can zoom in on it or not. I'm going to see it with my eye first. There it is. There's the trout. It's right in the middle of the film, uh, footage. Super camouflaged. That's a brown trout. That's a pretty nice one too. But I'm not after trout right now. I'm after some cedar trees. And here's one right here. And so I'm just going to get my mora that I modified the back edge of it. And so uh, I'll scrape some of that off and collect it. That's the time. The water is boiling. If you can see that or not. It's boiling. I'm very disappointed because my camera turned off. Uh, so I have no idea how long it was recording, but um, the time I got was 1454, which was not very good. Um, let's analyze how I made this and the errors I made. Let me take this off. Okay. Um, what I did was I used Dave Canterbury, uh, just had a video on setting up a, a, a quick tent with a space blanket. This happens, actually happens to be one I bought from him. Um, so I started with a ridge line. So I used paracord with a loop, the line going passing through it. And then I came over here and I tied, this is actually a trucker's hitch here. That's the slip knot. That's the trucker's hitch. And I put a slippery half hitch in it and I inserted the tent stake in there and then pull this tight so that's um, oh I first I, I pushed the the um, the loop from the slippery half hitch through the grommet then I pinned it on the other side with a stake and then I pulled the this slack out um, I used inside here I just used a um, three mil giant garbage bag and then this is a the I guess it's called the plow point design where I staked it in all four corners, or the other three corners, like that. So, uh, that could be a little tighter, but um, I just wanted to see how fast I could get the thing up. Um, okay, major goof up was, um, I didn't have my cup and water ready. I forgot all about that. And I could not get my canteen out of the, my cup out of the canteen pouch for the life of me. I finally got that out and uh, then I didn't really have a place to set my cup. 
so it would be up in the flames. So I had to just stick it off to the side and build the fire up against it, which is the most inefficient way of utilizing your wood. You want to have your flames all the way around your uh, cup and have the cup elevated up into the fire, not sitting below the fire with the uh, fire just around it. So I was just heating the cup from one side, the side that you're seeing right there, the blackened side. So that was another major goof. So I probably easily could have knocked off five minutes off my time if I would have set that water up correctly first because um, it took forever for that to boil. But I don't really care because all I was doing was just seeing um, how efficient I could be. And um, if you're in a survival situation, you want to be able to do things as quickly as possible. But uh, the fact that I didn't have my cup out and ready to go doesn't really matter a whole lot. But um, I'll remember next time just because um, I could have like bested my time by a huge amount. I hope you enjoyed this. It was uh, fun for me. And um, the uh, setup I was using for the bow drill is, um, once again, I'm using my trusty mule deer antler that I put a, uh, I took a, a small piece of steel, real thin, and I put a ball bearing on it and smashed it, uh, the ball bearing into the steel with an arbor press to create a cup. And then I epoxied the cup down in the bottom of this antler so I've got it drilled out and then that met this metal on the bottom I love this one because it's light and um, pretty much indestructible I epoxied the other end also to keep it from uh, wearing through um, for the bow drill set um, I ended up using uh, cedar on cedar um, another kind of screw up I was going to use this one, which was uh, one I carved out of basswood. I wanted to try a uh, cedar spindle with a basswood hearth board because um, cedar is harder than basswood. And sometimes uh, basswood on basswood is, is um, it, it sort of starts grinding itself up sometimes before it gets hot enough. But I still like it the best. But you kind of have to, uh, there's a little more finesse involved at least for me anyway. So um, that was the setup I used. Once again, I'll just pan around, see how beautiful it is out. And it look, was looking like it was gonna start raining. And that's another thing too. If this is a real scenario, I wouldn't have my fire, um, you know, 20 feet away from my shelter. I would have it like underneath the tarp part, right under there where before I'd get that plastic out of there so that um, in case it rained, it was gonna, if it was going to start raining, I'd, I'd want that fire sheltered. So um, I would have probably built, flipped this around and used the um, lean-to style and then um, built the fire and then flipped it back over on itself so it's away from the fire after the fire was going good. But this was just a practice session and uh, I had fun doing it and I hope you guys did. I'll just give you another pan of the beautiful area here. I'm very disappointed. I sure hope when I get home that I've got quite a bit of footage. I, just, I don't know when it turned itself off. I've really been having trouble with my battery. Uh, keep saying that this battery is not to be used in this video or in this camera. And it's the one that came with it. So I think the connection's getting flaky or something. I'm, uh, I brought my um, backpack that I use most of the time. Last time I was out, I um, brought my um, Protec three-day assault pack. Uh, I hadn't used that one for a long time since I set this one up, actually. And um, I had more weight in it, and it was actually more comfortable. Um, but for this exercise, I didn't want any surprises, so I... Um, I just grabbed this one and if this was kind of a last minute decision. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. God bless.